the bishop, when he's fixed totally by the pawn structure, for instance, the bishop on c8, um, front modification of the queen's gambit, um, could be very, very dynamic. Let's check out what they mean. Three, five. He talk about Queen's Gambit, and the, the example is by Rui Lopez. We, we're gonna see what they talk about. Rui Lopez. Through this way. Uh, Rui Lopez at the beginning is not dynamic, but later we can definitely say that this is one of the most popular ever opening. Um... Yeah, I took three books from the garage, what I think so they're really quality and I, could be also useful for me and for you, chat. We can <laughs> explain them uh, better. Next game, please. <laughs> okay, C3 castle space for the bishop, of course, H3. Wow, this is quite long, Terry. Here we go. Queen seven, knight, two. Knight c6. Now, um, black is a uh, fourth choice after this long theory. This is a move 12 where black is having this candidate, what I know. Knight 6, knight 4, cd. These are the possibilities of black right now. <laughs> okay, so knight b2, knight c6. He chooses to play knight c6. <laughs> Okay, so there. How are you doing? Um he's calling Morphe <laughs> Morphe defense. Tigorin defense. This is two thousand seven year. Check out my education. Now I'm 33 years old. Please don't talk about me that I'm grandmother or my books. All my books are uh, grandmother. In, in, in this time when I was in the university, a student, this, these two books <laughs> have been very, very famous. Okay. So we continue here with the d5. Uh, my, one of my favorite setup is also generate this pyramid in the center. And enjoy with the <laughs> spawn. Oh yeah, yeah, we have this. I forgot the comment about these books. I think so. Uh, it has to be somewhere here. We have books one, books two. Comment. Um, but these two books are uh, copy the writing. Oh yeah, we have the red kitty in chess yearbook. Doesn't, uh... Yes, they're here. Yes, they're here. So D5, Knight A5. <laughs> B3. As I told you, I'm trying to generate this pyramid and then focus all my effort to the king side part. B3, C4, B4. E7, A4, boom! Never let black to get this outpost in, in any way, so never let him also to open up first by A5, A4. Now, the knight on B7 is a bad place. It's a black to move. So now, even if you move away the knight, uh, it's such a very good example about the bad place piece, guys. So this uh, example out of Rui Lopez. <laughs> uh, you should expect uh, that black will get a, a bad place pieces. Also, the bishop on e7 is kind of a bad place uh, because he doesn't really have space in front. Also, the bishop on c8 doesn't really have a great future against this pawn chain, or actually, there is no any further free square for him. So, bishop on c8 is also quite a bad place piece. We can simply ca color them in red um, to show you how, how could be the evaluation. Um, 
you don't see moose but i uh quite uh, make you hints here on this side so you can take a look of um the evaluation totally who is better um uh, hey edge how are you doing who is uh better or Black is looks better here. I don't I don't think so just because all your pieces at good. Um by the way Blind Spotter. Thanks for way, following. Next question of you. Um method of analyzing uh, such a position uh has to start by um, you offer several elements how to analyze this position the first one is position of the kings position of the kings um then the second one is material on the board if any extra pawn piece whatever and uh number three should be after you exchange pieces who is going to be better who is going to have more central advantage more more uh, space and potentially better end game after exchange the pieces. Number four could be the four the 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 pawn structure. Uh, number four. So these are the about four factors what he thinks so we should um, quite analyze and uh, step by step uh, check out uh, how to increase this advantage. So we have another um, static position. Let's check out another static position. This is just an example out of opening part. Done. Here we go to another static position. Here we go. DC. See. Yeah, maybe you know most of the things, but maybe you can study something. Uh, what's this opening part, guys? If someone can call this uh, opening part, the chat. Rat, 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 rat. All right. So this is rat, of course. Uh, English <laughs> rat defense. Um. Okay. So just the name. Part queen. Two. There is some theory. They didn't talk so much about the opening part, but most of all. Trying to understand maybe every single position based on this all factors position of the king pawn structure after exchange pieces, what is the potential end game, and so on. Uh, now we have a position with the black to move. What's gonna be the evaluation here? E evolution, evolution. What's gonna be the evolution for white side? That means what has to be the white side part plan? Why he didn't move the knight to f3, for instance? Why he moved away the knight to h3? What's the plan of white potentially? What's the best coordination of white pieces? It's gonna be the first question. Second question is uh, actually, it's a black to move. How should black continue here? This is a game between Murshid and Dorfman. Evolution. <laughs> Evaluation. No, it's about evolution. What's going on next, you know? What's going on next? What's the plan? When we talk about plan, this is the upcoming moves. Uh,
common rep. But Black should probably start Queenset and oh, I'm impressed of Sabotage, but here we go. My G5 check roof, mate, baby. <laughs> Not so bad, Mr. Jingos. Not so bad. Bishop F5, Knight B4, Queen D7. Oh, uh, the boy is talking about Black's plan, okay. What about White's plan, guys? What about White's plan currently? Rat evolution, exactly. Where would you like to move away the knight on h3? Well, well, why we go to the end of the board, actually? Uh... Hey, listen! Dragon on the board, the black line. Actually, you talk about G5, but I'm not really sure why. Uh, resign button. <laughs> hey, lemons. Okay, so of course, uh, followed by bishop g2, castle in 9 to f4. Why 9 to f4? Just because occupy totally the most important central square. Mm, okay, this is the plan of white. As the potash was said, black should push and make more effort on the sad part there we go for discover 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 to one the other knight to d4 there we go use the fact that this king is still here white slow down the development of his king's safety position not really sure if he's able to make a castle there is a some hmm, interesting deflection by g5 which gonna make e2 pretty weak so um Two kills. <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight. I was losing about five kills, but now I'm back to the three more kills. Now I'm back in my mood. Maybe during the summer I spend more energy. During the win winter I eat more and work more. Different direction. Oh, time to time, of course, I'm jogging because all the time time is not enough. When I have to go to the center, I don't really drive a car. Sometimes I take a bus, but if the weather is good, I prefer jogging or uh, walking very fast, actually. <laughs> okay. Um... So you're all right. I mean, I'm moving really uh, much more in the... when I... Get this chance to, to do it. <laughs> this scooter, scooter, scooter. Actually, we have scooter, uh, but kid, kid scooter uh, and uh, scooter into the um, bicycle area is. Uh, <laughs> Moving very fast, so I should I should uh, jogging catch the scooter. Okay, let's go. Uh, <laughs> we're out of the lesson now. Rook e8. Hmm. There we are. Castle. Um. Bishop g4, g5. As I mentioned, I could check out g5. What's going to go on after g5? Scooter is German singer. Uh, scooter is um. Trotinetka. 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 Scooter. So we have electric scooter too. Uh, electric scooter is a very famous in my country. Every sec. Adult is uh, using it, but I think they're uh, totally uh, forbidden because they could be uh, dangerous for the people on the street who are driving car. Uh, so after g5, the response of white here has to be a counter attack because if you play the knight, losing e2. If you're gonna play e3, then uh, this deal gonna be great. Oh, what we need is. Uh, 
eliminate the greatest defender of black on g7. Uh, <laughs> Mary and Nina are in the chat. <laughs> okay, so bishop g4, f3. Okay, there we go. g5. And we have another critical, almost critical position. He didn't give us some nice answers. No, he just said that uh, after this, uh, it's already enough uh, progressing. And uh, we can stop here. So why to move? Maybe it's good to choose a move, guys, because... Um, these two pieces are hanging. I believe the choice is even hard for me. Uh, so let's check out the best opportunity for white side. I cannot imagine that in the first three lines, let's give you a hint. In the first three lines, there is no capture of white side. Being feeling warm, don't take COVID, okay? Got buff for Dernavax. I can't mm -hmm. give up. Oh man, why you did? Why did you do this? Oh. This game one more time is Murshet, someone by white and Dorfman by black. E three. You wanna push so much. You wanna. <laughs> Go for the flat hanging pawn structure. Oh, I think e3 is quite hanging. Yeah, the, the problem. Yeah, I'm not sure any opinion, but here just that I'm against this because after Omicron, probably Delta, Omega, uh, Greece alphabet is coming to us and. Uh, will become like mouse and ISIS, rabbits, experiments uh, instead of our life without pressure. <laughs> yeah, I'm just joking, but uh, all these uh, horrors, movies, what we ever uh, watch about pandemic, Steven Spielberg uh, movies maybe, uh, become true, so... Uh, you want uh, experiment. This is very, very sad. Um, <laughs> yeah, there, there will be another one and another one. This is the industry. Thousand variants. <laughs> Let's focus on chess, yeah. Um, Good to stay with your opinion. If you vote for this, do it to the end. <laughs> if you vote against this, also do it to the end. I would say that it's good to have a personal opinion about everything. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's talk about chess. <laughs> so, um, let's see three. Knight c3, they can get rid from the fork. Three, three moves are very, very quite, quite strange. <laughs> oh, playing English, throw, throw the things. Oh, oh, okay. Um, uh, FTX, GTX, Queen c3. Wait, queen c3? Wait, what do I mean, queen c3? Ftx, gtx, queen c3, knight e2 is check and losing the queen, no? Come on, Longis, you can do this only... Uh, you can do this uh, only in, in sub-battles to lose the queen, no? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so... I still, I still didn't see anybody in the chat find out one of the first three moves in the engine. Pixel phone? 
<laughs> okay. So, mm, not really sure if you if you're able to find out the move. I told you the move is pretty hard even for me. It's not the genius move, but quite computer move maybe. Okay, it's very important to probably to eliminate this knight. Okay, Queen D1. Finally, someone. Captain Logis find out. <laughs> Captain Logis find out the line number three uh, by Engine. Okay, now you can see the moves. Rook D1, number one. King H1, number two. You can check out the evaluation in Queen D1. I think you had enough time. And I think uh, moves. For instance, here, because they're waiting moves, <laughs> are quite hard to find out by yourself. Okay. Rook d1 makes sense because it's attacking the knight. For instance, after c5, you should also understand move like that. And boom, eliminate, I repeat, uh, defender on the king side part makes sense. Knight d5, escape. Because of escape of the threat, you can take back another piece. So it's not really sacrifice of exchange. After you take back the second piece, you have now two pieces uh, against Rook, which is quite a situation. And just because uh, Black King is totally um, naked, we can, yeah, we can uh, develop our attacking way. Okay, let's go for more. Uh, the next example. Okay, Mr. Jingo. Petrenko Dorfman. Okay, Dorfman is again uh, having black pizzas here. Russian 1984 is the game. E4, 5. Let me check out the critical moments in these games. Knight of 3, A6. We have Sicilian this time, C3, D5. I think c5 it's close to the lapin with the wasting of time of a6 now or e6 i play this for white side just all this without a6 city knight of six ninety three. here we go six p2 kundi one yeah kundi one is one of the i think uh, logis was the only one who Find out one continuing this evaluation six castle seven three castle rook c1 rook d8 four i know all this plan for instance a3 prevent the most uh, favorite maneuver of black fixing our isolated pawn on d4 and this is knight b4 knight to d5 5 push queen b3 queen b3 and rook d1 this is one of the favorite setup too for white side then rook fd1 now we all oh, what we need is um never give up this d4 yes mr d5 bishop four, bishop b3 is a nice pressure against the queen also potential good outpost for this knight could be e5 so this kind of updating the pieces but only this could happen if you Complex working in the center if you cover your weakness, the d4 isolated pawn, and then you can be able to do this. Yes. So, now it's a black to move. Of course, it's a, a black to move. By the way, uh, Dorfman is playing by black pieces, so I can also, also flip the board. Um, I, uh, I, I know the second maneuver, the first one I consider by totally different position. So guys, these are, these are something like famous tips already. 
Bishop f8, okay. What is connected with the bishop f8 maneuver? Aren't you worried about this pin directly after bishop f8? It will be my first question. I'm pushing you to find out two maneuvers to improve position of, let's say, a bad place piece. Please do it. Knight d7. Where are you going with the knight d7? Knight g4. Where are you going with the knight g4? Or, hmm. Interesting game. With knight e7, 8, knight e8, then e7. You don't need to retreat the knight on f6. Let's check out something. This knight is having a fantastic control of these two squares. Wherever you go, for instance, knight g4, e the knight e7, just to respond to your move, automatic I am able to, to jump in the center, which will be not so great for you. Followed by supporting of bishop g5, of knight g5. If you let me to come here, I'll be able to occupy the c5 outpost. I'll be able to open up the rook. It's not that great. I think the knight on f6, all of you mess up if you try to touch this knight. Why? He's a good centralized place piece. So you don't really need to improve this knight. So you go to the totally wrong direction. The improved place piece. The improved piece has to be any bad place piece, not any good place piece to go to the bad square. <laughs> so knight on f6 is fantastic defender on the king side part. You don't listen to me. Don't touch the <laughs> blue knight. <laughs> let's let's think about the red place knight because he's not really uh, able to jump further, you know. This knight is able to jump here, here, here. He's totally flexible. Why ha you have to touch a good place knight? Please touch the red place knight, not the blue place knight. Bishop f8, knight e7. Yes. Uh, Captain Logis and I think Lucky Freeter try to figure out this. Yes, Bishop f8, knight e7. This is the continuation of uh, Lucky Freeter idea. Oh, stop castle, stop castle, find out the second plan for this knight. All right, we have already. So, um, I think stop castle was the only one who find out this, yes. So, one of the plans for this knight is going to be b8, uh, b8 and d7. Through b6, talk us about this uh, great outpost. These three are outposts. c4, a4, d5 in advance. So it's gonna be this one over knight b8 one more time, knight d7, knight b6. This is the first plan of black. Second plan of black is h6. This is what are you missing? I, I was trying to ask you what are you doing if bishop f8, bishop g5 is coming. You didn't respond. So second plan of black gonna be h6, bishop f8, knight e7. And any knight of d5, uh, maybe, maybe also this one. With uh, re removing this knight, retreating him anywhere, you just open up also your mouse from b7. Don't forget about that. That's why we need um, one of these two ways to improve the bad placed knight. Rook ac8. Because of Atashwa, sometimes um, you don't really have this time. For instance, if d5 uh, could come to you, bishop c5, deflection, take back, knight e4, if any attacking is coming to you, probably you will be not able to play first rook c8 and then maneuver the knight. No, I just say that you have a choice between these three squares. In the block plans, you're able to reach d5, so there. And also with h6, bishop f8, knight e7, knight d5. So Probably it's all about d5 square. Why? Because we try to fix d5 and totally white will be not able to push d5 in any of those cases. Take the exchange. <laughs> not because it's good, because it's fun. Okay, of course you can enjoy with the game. We just, um, for this case, we just explained 
uh, why black is slightly better. By the way, um, very often maybe I get this position by white and I know that I have nothing. But uh, for instance, if black really doesn't know what to do in this case, uh, you could have problems. If I'm able to jump here in earlier moments, or if I'm able to come here, or if I'm able to push d5, white, uh, there is a chance white to become winning. But if black really knows these two plans, uh, white gonna be in trouble. In the game was played h6, bishop f8. So Dorfman choose to play this plan, d7, guys. It's been a practical uh, how this happened. There we go. This is what we uh, talk about. Um, now uh, Black uh, consolidate his uh, pieces, and this static advantage um, is totally, uh, totally great. So white to move, but I'm not sure where is this continuation. Oh yeah, the 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 here. Strange thing is this this uh, book is not having really pages. I hate this. Next time I'm gonna check out and I'm gonna make numbers. Okay, and done. Black is slightly better. Black increase the advantage. Black in increase update the position of the bad place knight. Should be more than enough. Just to check out the interesting plans, dynamic and static. You know what? Hey, hey, Ovis, how are you doing? Hey, hello to everyone. Um, you know what? Sometimes I ever see someone who is playing, for instance, French uh, or e6, d6, and then he, he continues to play d5, or, or sometimes I see e6 and c6, or c5, sometimes I see e4, c3, and then c4. So little, little tricks um, out of the opening part, I could say. Uh, giving the turn to the opponent. Even I know that in, in Grand Prix creation, I, I can show you. Uh, I can show you if I remember it. What I'm doing. I'm in Grand Prix. <laughs> so, um... Right, could be also uh, true this way. So I know that one of the best uh, here, for instance, in advance continuation for black. Okay, let's say g6, castle, there we go. And one of the best response in any moment was a knight to c6, just to go back. Not sure in which moment it was. Deep analysis of For instance, now, go back. Seven. No, here the best is Hans Chen. Oh, yeah. Thanks for subscribing for six months. Oh, thank you, Hans Chen. Thank you, thank you, thank you for continuation. Uh, Bishop e3, though. Five is the. I, I remember some line where this knight retreat to c6. Not now, but. <laughs> uh, and this was a really great. So you, you just transfer. You just transpose. Uh, from Grand Prix to the regular Sicilian position. Retreat the knight uh, from d4 to, to c6. So it's kind of standard tricks in the opening part. This was about a uh, question of August, I think so. Uh, gosh. Do you have Tesla? Tesla? Electric Tesla? All right, Dorfman Parada, C46, there we go. It's also time to say hello. Five, four, not really English because he transposed to. We are more close to the London system now. Or Queen's Gambit declined or accepted, depends of black and depends of this pawn C4 actually. C5, boom! Queen's Gambit definitely is declined to capture C4 ahead of its attack. Maybe to descend directly. 
because the knight of c6 is creating pressure the the, the pawn on d4 log is that's why the isolated pawn on d4 was under attack and knight of c6 was able to jump on b4 and d5 and you provoke weakness like a3 and then you move away the knight after you finish your development because knight c6 is at the beginning of the game and you need this pressure in the center man this is the center the isolated pawn d4 could be under attack that's why okay Three, uh, it is possible though boy it is possible all right knight of three three knight takes c5 a3 knight takes c5 a3 bishop e7 by the way uh out of the book now we can a little bit connect maybe the books too for instance to Sarah Uka Poblanka book, uh, I told you some of the chapters he explained about pawn structure, crystal clear, and uh, <clears throat> how to reach this in any potential end game or whatever, and how you could use this pawn structure. Advance. Harvitz attack, no boy. Harvitz attack. I talk about, I am still answering to, to uh, Captain Logis' question. Why the previous game, I believe, was his question. Why he didn't go directly to d7. This was my response. <laughs> now we, we're looking for a totally new game. This is happening in Berlin. Berlin. I'm sure Lucky Freeter knows the game. <laughs> in 1989. 1989. I was one year old. Oh, yeah. Castle, knight b3, e3. Hmm. CD. Oh, wait, e3, knight c6. <laughs> Captain Jenkins, Captain Fritter. <laughs> Uh, I like his surname, but uh, could be a secret. So great, maybe share with the whole community the, the, the surname of uh, Mr. Fritter. It's a very cool one. But I can call him in a short version like Hammer. It's gonna be the Hammer in the chat. Uh, I like his surname so much. It's it's a very generous, a very very proud he. Hey, hey, helpful Nelson, happy to see you. Yes, because I try to answer to all your questions, guys. Oh, helpful Nelson, you you already been born, I see. Okay, so CD, boom, I takes, I takes, ED. Okay, guys, do you see something similar between this position and the position before? Of course, yes. Uh, so before white was having isolated pawn d4, right Half now Nelson. black is having oh, yeah. isolated Thanks for pawn subscribing. d5. Oh, Humble Nelson is a one year old. One year old. Thank you, thank you so much for a great continuation. Poor <laughs> than Becker. Becker. Uh, Becker. Um, Becker. Hammer. Hammer, Becker, these are very, very nice surnames. I like it. Jim Barrette. Okay. So, a uh, similar pawn structure, of course, as the game before. All what we need is fixing, take, uh, fixing. So, D4, because the dream of black gonna be pushing up, of course. Happy birthday, helpful Nelson. Happy birthday of one year. <laughs> All right. That's why Bishop D3. Uh, he's still not able big push because we're gonna we're gonna take 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 and in the end, of course, we have the attack. What everyone uh, see it. Three, 
six. Trying to have uh, access is the guy who provoked me. He said that uh, uh, he appreciated the fact that I could be number one in his puzzle rating list. Yesterday I saw that Liu Kuridze has a hundred points more than me and I pushed myself. And in some moment I was 3,250, uh, 60, 80, 90. And then from 90 I go to 50 again. And I was so angry, but about two hours cost me to have a <laughs> more rating than her. So, yes, I, I'm still number one. <laughs> okay. Out of the castle. Queen B6. So I crossed 3300 yesterday by puzzles, but cost me too much time. Uh, he still tried to make this coordination followed by this moves to push d4. He won. Push. Two. F D eight. Tick 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 check of course. <laughs> Four. F six. D three. Five. Boom boom trade off. Makes sense here to give up the bishop pair. Why? Because anyway we're gonna lose this uh, bishop even if we way to e2 because of the move like that and if we have to analyze now uh if our bishop pair is stronger of course it's not because this knight uh crossed the fifth rank so he's uh, quite dangerous against us and it's good to be eliminated that's why we captured the knight by dark square bishop No, I fall down totally and I think this is the most ever shit puzzle in the world what I share with you in Discord. I I I told you. <laughs> so <laughs> it's really the terriblest puzzle what could ever happen to me and believe me I check out a thousand puzzles, yes, a thousand I mean thousand etudes, not even puzzles. For sure puzzles I check out millions already, but for etudes uh, I even I'm even close now to put the in the PGM file because of another student with the long term working thousand attitudes by by myself from the book to the to the PGM file. So for the person who has so much experience with the <laughs> uh, thousand attitudes and million puzzles, I really guarantee that this is one of the hardest in the world. And I'm pretty sure that even even Nakamura cannot solve this. What I share with you. Um, 280. No, yesterday I told you I, I crossed 3300 something. Just to have a little bit more than Liu Kurid. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It's a secret. So. Um. Of course, I'm not the genius, so I fall down on this puzzle. What I share, uh, you can check out in the in the puzzle section in Discord, of course. Please, uh, if you're interested, you can check out there, and you can you can you can even uh, transfer the position to the chess-based program. It, it, it's everything okay? I already finished with this. I mean, I I fall down on this puzzle. Echo, there is Echo. Check a computer. Yeah, you can do it. I think interesting, but still no one solved it. Uh, Wagner was the only one who uh, had a great direct. Uh, sure, do you have echo? Do you hear me well? Sometimes I'm shouting. I have a feeling that something is not so right by my voice. Okay, let's go for for this. So bishop takes e5, bishop takes e5, eliminate the unpleasant knight and have our fantastic base knight on c5. b7 now. You know, not for a long time with the bishop pair.
luck. Oh, I don't know. Could be bad. But... Another reason could be because I turn on the engine too. Maybe I don't need. Okay, now it's a black to move. Uh, you should uh, choose between two, two possible uh, continuations. Talk about chess a little bit. I'm gonna leave you three minutes. Just fast poll, please. Be be fast and furious. Choose the best. Sight. Show me. You can dominate on the one of the responses. F6, C6, or Queen takes F6. Let me see how many people vote for the wrong move and correct move. Dogmon um, Suentes Parada. So if you're Mr. Parada, what you gonna do? Pawn takes or Queen takes? You open up a file and attack on this channel. <laughs> okay. Oh, you have the oh. You open up the stream twice. That, that that's that's insane. <laughs> Stop castle. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. That, that, there we go. This is the actual. I was worried about my sitting. <laughs> my sound. That weak pawn to the center. Hmm. That's white next move. Actually, what's 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 black's next move? Pawn takes or queen takes on e6, please. What one fight? I probably potential pressure on d5, but he's not any more able to have more attackers than you have defenders there. So you should take care about your pawn structure in advance. Will be the little hint. One of the rook. Which rook? You you have no more rook on f8. What you said. Uh, ready. Seven people for pawn takes e6. Great. We're gonna make fun. I, I have I have this feeling. <sighs> because you're Grandmaster Barrette, that's why. <laughs> Very pity that you change your account. Very, very, very good example, guys. Where I, I could mess up too. <laughs> That's why it's good too. Uh, okay, congratulations! You choose the wrong move. <laughs> Seven people choose the move with the question mark. Seven people choose the move with the question mark. Let's let me see why. Let me see why uh, you could mess up in such a Every time I repeat thousand times in front of my students, in front of my <laughs> students, they spend minutes, not seconds, minutes in front of the situation when you have to capture peace because this is the most common mistake. From this mistake, you could even potentially lose the game because of the pawn structure. All right, you have two pawns in this case, but actually, e6. Uh, and d5 are already two hanging pawns. Hey, <laughs> Sledgehammer, how are you doing? Uh, so, okay, you vote for queen takes e6. Yeah, I'm glad that two or three people vote for that. 
So now these pawns are disconnected. Yes, we have uh, three pawn islands. Pawn islands didn't change so much. But pawn structure is boring. Yes, but to stay solid, it's much better to keep this pawn structure. And based on the fact that we have an opposite color of bishops, even you will be able to push d4 on time. You're able to support this isolated pawn as much as possible. I repeat again that white is not able to have more... Oh, this is not a valid re link, sorry. Evo, gonna announce the bullet tournaments. Maybe we can start in 10.30, like that. Play one hour. Uh, peace activity, yes. So, I mean, uh, this pawn on d5 is definitely not enough weak. Any pawn is enough weak when opponent is more able to bring more attackers than you defenders. So in this case, this pawn is enough protectable. That's why you don't need to generate another weakness on e6 backward pawn. Explanation in, I guess in the explanation in the book is a similar one. Um, they, they said uh, this is uh, very weak without hope uh, weakness on e6. Uh, very weak static mistake. Um, no, I, I hope you, you can remember some colors, you can remember some pawn structure, you can remember some tips out of these lessons could be also uh, useful to you. Thank you, Fritter. On the opposite color of bishops, there is another huge factor. If there are still heavy pieces on the board, forget about drawish position with opposite color of bishops. Doesn't really matter. You still have too many heavy pieces on the board. Well, yeah, they exactly explained that after uh, queen takes e6, d5 to d4 is the next move, followed by rook ac8, rook c3. And there we go, this bishop is a great supporter. So again, we don't really have a problem with the d5 pawn. We don't really have a problem with the d5 pawn, better, better decision will be queen takes. Remember to play boring. Okay, now I'm gonna flip again to show you the power of white, how he can against this weakness double boom boom h4 one of the solidest ever fracture i just mentioned that we have opposite color of bishop so we don't really need to worry so much about d5 because d4 is also coming d3 h4 one of the solidest boom Structure. Oh, nice game is between Karpov and Kasparov. I want to see this. So it's a black to move now. Um, now, the black king indeed comfortable comfortable position. But where is this going to be after h5? What do you think so? This will be totally breakthrough for the king side part. So do you really think so after your last decision what seven people from the chat choose? I think so after f takes e6 for some reason you um you left your king's control you left your king's defense if move there we go h4 e5 all right you have the center but who cares if there is a strong attacking against you e4 d4 block out fantastic bishop acted pass pawn but all rules are having exceptions Connected pass pawn doesn't mean that you're winning in the game. Connected pass pawn is connected with a super bad place bishop, for instance. And backward, still weakness on e5. h5. Continue with the breakthrough. G takes, queen takes. If not, I believe, anyway, this is gonna be a wise plan. King g2, followed by rook h1. Amnesia, okay. <laughs> Queen g4. Mm -hmm. We have a different continuation too, but right now, white is slightly better. Okay, slightly better. Yeah, we can, we can take a look at different response. For instance, g5. Rook b2, Queen c1, check. I thought King g2, Rook h1 would be great. 
They sacrificed this pawn for the bishop activity. Finally, bishop take a brief on c4 though. Push! h6, of course. Wait. And now, who is going to take the gold, gold move? What is the golden move here? And let's jump to Karpov Kasparov game. Let's go. Exclamation mark to which move, guys? Please wake up. Fantastic move. Based on the space. The it king, of course. First factor in peace. This game belonged to uh, Dorfman Parada, I told you, in Berlin, 1999. Two-star general. <laughs> thank you so there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tomorrow. So this week I can try to contact with other stream. <laughs> Mr. Jenkins, Queen H5, man. There we go. You try to go inside. There we go. Boom here, boom here. Checkmate here. So if rook takes f7, of course the move is queen e8 even. There is no protection. The bishop will give king g8. Just have a four key and the game is over. Right. <laughs> so, oh, we have a setup here. We have a setup. I should make empty board. We have Karpov Kasparov, 1985, in Moscow. I didn't understand. Hey here, Aaron. How are you doing? Happy to see you. Here. Go. Isolated pawn d5. Again, something similar. So here I oh. like the topic Thanks is for subscribing. Something like. How to play against isolated pawn. Huge things around. Oh my gosh, this is this is insane. Here. 22 months. Are you sure? 85%? Oh come on. Blitz or super blitz? You mean uh, bullet? Um, yeah, I think Ron is one. Is the first one could be the first one because Twitch reason like that. Yeah, how old is Logis and how old is Logis? Logis is Logis is nineteen months. Nineteen months supporter, and Ron is twenty two. Yeah. How to get such a position would be more useful. This is out of the position where you can get an um, isolated pawn. Um, I think many many positions in Queen's uh, Gambit, in Queen's Gambit declined, accepted. Uh, you can get an um, isolated pawn, uh, a Lapin. What else? Kerokan, Atak Panov. Also very very often possible to get an isolated D4 D5 pawn. D4 white side depends on. French defense, some Tarot variations. For instance, ED, 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 and when I'm able to capture later, DC, D5 will be isolated pawns. Yes, of course, French, of course, French will be our main topic. So, don't share with me that you this position never happened to you with the isolated D4 or D5 pawn for the both colors. Oh, come on, come on, Mr. Lucky, <laughs> Mr. Hammer, I'm gonna call you Mr. Hammer, 
Oh, oh, I forgot about the bishop, sorry. <laughs> wait, what's happened? This is the same position or not? Oh, wait, this is the similar position. <laughs> this is so much fun. This is a similar position, but but as the game before, when, when I made a poll, I even didn't take a look. Uh, it's a black to move. It's a black to move. Don't worry. Uh, just a second to compare. Uh, I'm uh, s quite surprised because the the Dorkman Parada game is 1989. Karpov Kasparov is 1985. Four four years. This position is happening four years before the other game. So maybe. They follow Karpov Kasparov match, and uh, for instance, probably he knows the plan, correct plan. But I think we will understand why he messed up. So here it's black to move, black to move, load, flip, and guys, you're gonna have a second pole. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna have a second poll. What's the choice of Kasparov? It's fun. What's the choice of Kasparov? Yarikimovich. F takes E6. Queen takes E6. I'm gonna leave you five minutes this time. Lucky printer totally, totally kill me with this response. Took a piece on e6. All right. <laughs> you know the poll before. You know the poll before. Thank you, Aron. Thank you, thank you so much. The most pressure on the B. By the way, uh, please check out the difference when I try to explain you very well about the pawn structure and so on. <laughs> please use your channel points to give me this navigation. What's what's your choice of? And let's count also the people. Uh, we, we with the chat. We don't really have this. Uh, so much objective with the count by poll we can get clear objective you don't see the poll why just refresh the web what's the choice of kasparov you have five minutes two people f takes e6 two people queen takes e6 <laughs> um i think uh People see the poll. Not sure why dogs didn't see it. Also, you can uh, give me your suggestion after pawn takes. What's going on? Just to refresh the stream, maybe. Don't see the chat if you poll. Uh, close to each and Or just press the button on refresh. Hey, hey, Stefan. How are you doing? You don't like Queen G6? Identify situation. The difference between the previous poll and this one 
it uh, is uh, uh, the these two rooks are already here, are already on the C file. This is the only one difference. Between By the way, if you know the game, if you know the final result, also you can guess, you can guess the correct move of Kasparov based on this. If Kasparov lost or he took a wrong decision. So this is the choice of Kasparov, but we can explain the correct move and we can explain also the choice of Kasparov. The choice of Kasparov could be wrong in the game. That's why I never trust the game so blind. Try to check out, please. <laughs> Kasparov, of course, lost. Karpov Kasparov, one more time in Moscow, 1985. Hehe, <laughs> for dessert. Yeah, but if H3, you have time for reaction, I believe. Hmm. It's a little bit sneaky question. I, I, I'm not really asking you what's the correct choice. I'm asking you, what's the choice of Kasparov in this game? So you're gonna give the correct answer? <laughs> you're a great optimistic about Kasparov. You can check out my picture with him. Mind you, how it, it looks like. Three. Six people vote for Queen takes E6. So. <laughs> Choice of Kasparov in the game was F takes E6. But on move 63, Beowe Vigrali, White won. So F takes that that's that's in short means. Hey there boy, did you check out my Facebook fan page? Just click on the link below. And I just made two pictures of two Olympians. Him. Good. Some party. So that's mean that F takes E6 is the wrong decision. Yes, queen takes e6, never let white to get a full control of the weak squares is the most correct uh, <clears throat> most correct continuation. Even prevent move like e4 destroying you and keep the structure solider as the previous recommendation when queen takes e6 was played. Let me see why this is catastrophic move. Some one of you even ordered game of Karpov. There we go. Try to play like Karpov currently. G4, pressure. C4, H3. Full pressure of the weak pawn. A5. Eight, five. Kill him, of course. Why to move? Last move to find out. And we should announce the bullet tournament. Hey, happy new year, Salam. Happy, happy, happy new year. No, no, I don't take with the pump. Take the pump. Oh, my poor brain. Let's 
last push-ups for wife. Wow. What's gonna be the great situation for white side? Should be one with the of e4. Why do we need bishop b1 for e4? You see, there is some <laughs> connection between uh, <clears throat> daily games and such uh, tips. We just take a look at different uh, different openings. It's not that boring to have a only one combination. Ekirch Botfinik. We have also Botfinik. Famous games. I believe the game the the old book is quite interesting. Dorfman. Doesn't like Russian. Translate. Find it down. Whites to move. Sharpov dominates the light squares. True. Give me suggestions. E4 looks amazing, and yes, it it's not only look, it is amazing. E4. And white won on move 63. Sharpov won this game on move 63. The Kifriter is uh, optimistic as usual. We cover five games at all. Um, I'm not sure if it's uh, this game. It's serious. Uh, I think uh, we have a currently position. No more isolated pawn in this game. It's about the weak position of the White King uh, here. We have a different. We have different. Topic here in the next game. Try to separate it. Did Black try to close the center by d4, e5? Uh, <laughs> you play for in your. If Black is playing uh, d4, yes, for sure. You should keep open this diagonal and uh, don't worry about this pawn. Well, protected, I believe. Also, you discover attack and. Attacking d4, it's a, it's a pretty easy 